Tough kid, man. Tough kid. That is one tough kid. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to another Arab man reacts. Today's reaction is uh, comes with a lot of complex emotions I think I need to say. Um, it, it comes from the tribute concert for Taylor Hawkins and uh, I have been a Foo Fighters fan my entire life. In fact I always imagined that I would actually go watch the Foo Fighters live, but it, it's always one of those things where it's like, I'll watch them tomorrow, I'll catch them live tomorrow, I'll catch them live tomorrow. And like two bands I, I think I need to watch before I leave this earth is, are the Foo Fighters and, and Pearl Jam. And with Taylor Hawkins now gone, you know, and I love Dave Grohl, I love him to death, you know what I mean? But Taylor Hawkins is, is the Foo Fighters, is part of the glue of the Foo Fighters. And him and Dave have just, that friendship, man, that you just sort of aspire to have. So watching this right now, I haven't seen it before. I have not let myself actually watch the tribute concert at all, but I think that this is such a paramount moment, and it's weird I'm saying paramount because we're watching the paramount version of this, but it's just such an important moment in the history of music to watch the Foo Fighters play with Taylor's kid. I'm a little hesitant getting into this because I don't want to be put in like a, a sad place, but at the same time, I need to watch this, you know, it's part of, it's part of history. So here we go. Let's watch this for the very first time. Taylor Hawkins tribute concert, my hero with Oliver Shane joining the Foo Fighters on stage. Now, we've got the little guy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, one more drummer that's going to come up and play with us tonight. Dude, you can already tell, like, look and, uh, at Dave's emotional state. Like, you see him on stage, you. usually he's, he's happy, he's, he's, he's always, like, full of energy, and but beyond that, he's trying to stay he's composed. Family, and uh, he needs to be here tonight with all of us. That's just beautiful, and, uh, man. I think it makes sense that he's going to come up and play with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Mr. Shane Hawkins on the drums. Do you just imagine the emotions you're going through as Taylor Hawkins' kid joining your dad's band on stage to play at a tribute concert for your dad? Like... Tough kid, man. Tough kid. That is one tough kid. Shane starts his song. Yo, I've never seen anyone beat the drums this hard. He's literally putting in all his raw emotions into it. In Arabic, we call this a fashat khile. I'm the fish khile into those drums right now. All the emotions he's feeling, right in there. Oh, dude, what a moment. I swear to God, what a moment. Um, you know, it's Dave Grohl is usually one of those singers that sort of always has his voice lost because he gigs so much and he always goes through performances no matter what. And I think Dave is, is proof that you don't need to be an amazing singer to make beautiful music and you don't need to be an amazing singer to get on stage and sing, right? It's just emotions. That That's... that's raw emotions is what you get with his voice and that sort of layers onto this performance where you have the entire band in this very unique emotional state that no one should envy and you have Oliver Shane there on stage with them 
and he's playing the drums and he's playing the drums like an absolute madman like he's playing the drums like his father would would play the drums he's making his dad so proud right now it's just it's just such a unique moment for someone to be in for someone to observe and that's why i think this is this really is something in history that will go down as one of like the best performances of all time just because of how important of a moment it is I'm talking too much, I know, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get back into it. Look at that. Like, you know, you know he's done that with his dad. You know he's had that moment with his dad, dude. Like, I can't just imagine you're Dave Grohl right now. You're looking, and it's where Taylor's supposed to be, and, and it's Taylor's kid instead, and you're doing the same little lick that you do when you look at him. I don't know if it's coming through, like, how, what I'm trying to explain, dude, but wow, just wow. Look how hard he's playing, man. He's a frickin' Foo Fighter. Super boy, man, super boy. You know, I swear the Foo Fighters could probably just, I don't know if they're carrying on or not, you know, but I think they could literally just have him play drums with them moving forward. I mean, that is as perfect a drummer as I've ever seen. You know what I mean? I don't know how old he is, but he must be like, I don't know, maybe 15, 16, dude, but he's, he's playing at the level. He's playing at the Foo Fighters level. He's playing at his dad's level. It's just incredible to see. Look at that, man. Look at the... He's setting all the time, man. He's setting the tempo. He's... You know Dave's singing about Taylor, you know it. You know, in their mind, they're thinking about Taylor right now. You know it. Do it. I'll do it. Just unbelievable. Dude. Dude. You know that thing I was talking about before that 
that Feshit Khile, which is what we have in Arabic, I, I don't know how to translate that into English, but that's literally the expression on the kid's face when he's doing that film. Dude, dude. Give this man all the hugs in the world right now. Rockstar. That was a moment. That was definitely a moment in time, man. I think this is one of those videos that people are going to keep going back to. Just to revisit, just to sort of feel that again, because it's a very rare feeling that you get there. It's exceptionally sad, but it is incredibly beautiful at the, the, at the same time. It's, oh, dude, man, I already miss... Oh, I miss Taylor Hawkins so much. I mean, I'm, I'm so sad that I wasn't able to actually watch them live and catch them live. But, you know, thankfully we have a lot of content online, but it's not the same. Um, it's the end of one of the greatest friendships in the world. What seems to be an incredible dad. I mean, look at the little kid, you know. This is the great part about music is that even in the saddest moments, greatness and great moments are created. Um, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, we'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Salamat. Yeah!